Hi, do you know that 90% of all markets are operated by smart money? Learn to think like smart money. Use volume spread analysis. Invest your trade by following the smart money. IVSA Chart Analytics will 1. Identify exactly when to buy, when to sell, and what to buy and avoid. 2. Maximize profits and minimize risks. And 3. Give trading or investing edge you need now. Try it now. Free trial available. Right, welcome to another Friday IVSA chart uh, for the week ending 19th of June. If you have any stock to look at, what we're going to do, we'll be changing the format rather not than talking about uh, stocks and things like that. Just going to talk a bit about Outlook <coughs> using the IVSA chart here. Now what we have, just going to spend a bit 5 minutes on here, those of you who are listening. And the situation is, uh, though this chart is not updated, it's still up back to June 17. You could see we, we have the weakness in here. But I don't want you to draw your, your attention to a daily chart. Now you, you have noticed this, what we call a uh, date cross, which is the 50 day crossing over the 200 day. So that's a lot of bearish. But the problem with this, the moving average crossover, is it is a lagging indicator. Now, those of you who don't know what I mean by lagging, as soon as it crosses and confirms, that's where the market drops. You can see here, when the market crosses up, they call that the golden cross. So that time when it crosses, a lot of people went long and they got caught. Same time like here, when the market crosses uh, down, which means it is bearish, here was bullish. Let me just make a note here. And uh, ah, yes, I can draw this here and show you what I mean. Okay, so here... This is what we call the uh, so-called the golden cross. Okay. Can you see uh, my handwriting here? Okay. So this is a golden cross, and this is what we call the uh, uh, dead cross. Now, these what we call the moving average crossover. Okay, crossover. They tend to be very lagging. Okay, lagging indicator, right? And they can get you into trouble. Now, using the IVSA method which is the price and volume method, right? We look at price and we look at volume. So that will be put you in the right way. So what we're trying to say in here, look at the price, look at the volume. That's all we want to see in here. And you can see as soon as it got in, market started to turn up and the market turned down here. So you can see that is the two different wide marketing. But very quickly, I just want you to draw your attention. Let me just turn this back again, right? To the weekly. Now, in IVSA chart, we have the uh, BUSA KLCI. Okay, let me just turn this off, erase this. And you can see, notice. What do you notice here? Okay, let me just turn this on. Okay, you notice we have tests. Okay, although the test has broken down, we have two sign of strength. Now, what is sign of strength? Sign of strength is just what we call uh, indicators that the market is turning over, where we have supply coming in. Okay, supply coming, sorry, we have demand overcoming supply, so that's likely the market may be going higher. Now, another uh, observation that we make here is also, let's switch to a one-year chart here. Okay, let's switch to a one-year chart. All right. And you can see that the support level on the IVSA chart, that's telling you we are kind of greatly well supported here. So we have this part. That's what, uh, don't be too over bearish unless we break to the uh, 1690. Okay, 1690 is the level it is. I did talk to some analysts in my office in here. They're quite bearish in the, in the scheme of all things. But you can see here we have the two bar reversal down and the market went down. Give IVSA a try. It will help you in your trading. I know some of you are not IVSA traded. I haven't used it yet and uh, definitely it will improve your trading okay so that's what i want to say about the outlook next week you'll come back and take a look at it so what i want to do now is to look at some of your stocks that you have okay if you have some of the stocks you want me to look at let me know okay switch back to this daily chart okay any stocks you want me to look at okay All right. So, are you bullish or bearish with regards to the market now? Typically, okay. 
you know, bullish or bearish in terms of uh, market. Right. Hi, Ning. Okay, mm -hmm. any stocks you want me to look at? <coughs> Any stocks you want me to look at? Okay, good. We got the first one. Dominant. Yeah, dominant. Yep. <coughs> let's update this. All right. Now, dominant like it or not, let's look, go through bar by bar in here. Okay. I I don't have. It's not updated yet. Uh, the eighteen one. You can see. Uh, let's 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 go before we look at that. Let's look at here and see how it goes. Now the market here was was good. You can see. Uh, typically, uh, let me just bring this up here. You can see we have what this. Uh, we have. We have increasing volume. Okay, we have increasing volume. Okay, and subsequently that provides the market going higher. But we did have uh, uh, this uh, uptrust in here. Then we saw. Uh, profit taking coming in, market came down, but we did have a spring. Okay, so in big market tends to go up like this, you know. Uh, what we want to see here is heavy volume. Okay, heavy volume, like what we have here. Okay, and then we have lower volume here. So that's a lower volume. Okay, so we we see that. So that's very healthy. And you also have the ATR stop loss. Typically, uh, you so you have the ATR stop loss, and let's see if you're stop out or not. Okay, so ATR stop loss. Let me just erase that. You can see in here, right? Uh, truly, truly, we are not stop out yet. Okay, so you can see here, uh, this part we are still holding up. It's nice. It keeps us into play. Uh, we we don't give up a bit more than that. And let's look at it today. I, I'm not sure whether it is you know, uh, did we bounce or it sell off? That spring does tell us something. Okay, let's look at dominant in here. I think it's seven one. Let's bring it up uh, and take a look at it. Seven one six nine. Yeah. Okay. Still holding up in here, right? And, and guess what? There's a volume in here is tested. Now, very interesting in here. We have what we call uh, a likely uh, this. You notice the volume huh? decreasing in here. Now you want to increase bar go higher on heavy volume. But when it comes down, it goes on a decreasing volume. Okay, that's very important. So that means uh, it's finding, and if you see a lot of cluster closes in here, right? So what we have, we have at spring here, we have UT here, okay, this bar and this bar, these are all line change, okay? So that proven the market may just move and pushing upwards, okay? That's how we look at things. Okay. Uh, any more stocks you want me to look at? Just want to make this more as your session, so to get you guys into the uh, uh, IVSA chart, more in terms of analyzing. I know you guys love to analyze charts. Okay, this spread isn't that well defined. You can see, uh, test normally have very very thin spread in here, where the volume almost drop off. Right, that's what I mean by test means low volume is always strength huh? we always look at low volume to be strength okay another one coming up uh, okay good Andrew we'll look at front can okay let's look at front can in here now front can uh, if you look at of course you know the market really went through uh, a series of what we call you know up here, here, and did break off, and we have here. This is the support we broke through here, and that's what we got the uh, up trust and also sell off. But we have UT in here. This is more of a volatility market broke down, and you do notice the 200 day moving average also broken in here. Now, front came was good, but you can see uh, if, if you look at if, if you count from this part, okay, if you dissect here and here, you count. Uh, number of strength in here you can see weakness starting to pop up one two three one two three one two three four five six so you got six weakness uh, you got about four weakness two strength okay 
so that means pointing there is, isn't much support in here and you notice in here weakness is, is weak okay so uh, no doubt the market uh, is you know sort of pointing back it may, but you still have this resistance in here and uh, typically when, when the market goes through like that okay right you can see uh, you have what we call a resistance here okay which is here okay now let's look at the next stock all right Andrew I want to look at your next stock I want to give you a good service okay yeah Ning Ning okay Ma Sing we look at Penta yeah Barry okay Penta Uh, Penta again uh, this one here you can see uh, okay let me give me a minute first write this down now if you look at Penta again uh, the ATR may be triggered but it is still sort of supported here by the uh, so-called uh, 50 day moving average in here uh, market did deep down lots of tests here right test but eventually still broke 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 here broke uh, the higher price is definitely at 72 cents here rejected but did it had some sort of support but what it does is actually forming a, a what we call a flat base okay so like a flat base here it goes here and here so we are up to here so it can break up or break down in here but from a judge of it you have a lot of sort of strength in the background but lower prices around 65 is also break uh, sorry it did hell on in here uh, it, it, it's good. It's a fight between bulls and bear. Okay, you got the bear here. Okay, you got the bull here. Okay, the bulls want to push up. The bears want to push down, and this is what you get. All right. In terms of, uh, it, it didn't push up but because you got higher prices were rejected in here. Definitely, if you break the seventy-two, you might see a chance. Okay. Next one. Uh, let me just erase this. Was uh, I think Sendai, right? <coughs> yeah, it was Sendai. Oh, by the way, interesting. Is, let, let's take a look where is Penta today. Okay. Oh, break up. See, that's what I said, right, Andrew? Remember, it sort of push up when uh, by the time you break through here, that will be great. It either goes down, go down, and you got this is on a nice volume here, right? This is a nice volume in here. Uh, this one is up, so that's why when we look at the, the the market in here breaks up. That's very nice. Just what I said. Okay. Uh, Sendai. So ever since I, this is 18 of June. I think today it closes up up here in here. Uh, pretty classic kind of uh, trade here. Nothing much to uh, to worry. I can think of. Uh, you got you know lots of what? One, two, three, four, five, six. You got six SOS, and that's good. Uh, General likes that. Uh, but as you go higher, look for SOW. Okay. So this one is here, and you have your support here. That's taken now. So that's nice. You got support here. So what do you want to see? You have volume, also increasing volume, right? So good, right? You're like just like you see it here. Notice the uptrend here. You notice the volume also increases. As a market move side, where volume dies off, and you have also a very a minimum. You know, we have very low volume activity here. Okay, that's why the market holds, right? And also pays a uh, 1.27 percent dividend. Which is not bad. The only thing is ROI. We are updating this fundamental data for IVSA chart. So make sure you get the latest IVSA chart. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Ning will do uh, massing. Do another one. Massing. Massing is a property. A lot been say about that. Okay. Um, now. Like it or not, uh, this is typically very interesting. Uh, you can look at massing, right? You have a lot of strength in here. Uh, definitely, when you push up higher prices at 170, uh, 78, it was rejected. Then you have 168 in here. Market is also turning bearish. You have volume here, okay? Now, what I like to see when the when you see pullback volume, this have to be low volume, okay? Low volume here, right? But then you have uh, search in volume huh? and that's not too good but having said that you know, 
uh, market is rebounded in here when you see test market breakdown that's not too good too generally I don't like that one uh, because when you have this smart money okay because what you have is typically like this right pull back and it should go up it should rally away huh? here but it did not instead it just crumbled down and we all know what big and remember uh, Ma Seng being property counter they're all very weak I mean you look at uh, the other counter I think uh, which is uh, Echo World right? you can see Echo World okay which is always in the paper not Echo first huh? Echo World you can see the market just you know sort of sell off here uh, that what we have this is the property sector okay Okay, let's do one more and uh, ET Tech yep, for Ning. Oh, what's the code for that one? Uh? I don't have that ET Tech. You can give me the code, uh, Ning, while I do pre first. Huh? Ning, give me the code for that one. Okay, uh, pre war again. Uh, <laughs> you still remember, no, Andrew? Uh, during the time we were doing the uh, uh, in, in January. Uh, the 30 when we're giving out the prizes I think 37 cent uh, was the uh, here was the entry in here and then you got the uh, up trust uh, it this is the classic one when you have up trust you have all resistance here takes out and then you know break back down here this is the one you can see that when we broke back down here you could see you know market it was just going to down we got spring here fail to rally Okay, you got spring failed to rally. Right now you got another spring still in the downtrend here. So pre it seems to be, you know, really catching a lot of people in here. And one of the things with pre it's you know, everyone's talking about it, you know. Uh and I don't like people when too many people talk about it. All right, this is just a personal preference, that's all. Okay. Then you got the uh, code for you, yeah, five two five nine. Okay, thanks. That'll be the last one I'll be doing and uh we'll continue those of you who is uh, 5259 join us the IVSA oh here they go okay uh, now that's the one you have let me just erase that first so here you can see uh, market nice uptrend in here move, start to move sideways okay you got this wash low volume in here you got up trust right just be careful in here uh, you can see the the you know this part in here but what I don't like about here is you notice this high here volume is really diminishing right which means smart money may not be here to support they were already buying it here the volume just sort of dries up in here as it goes on and it might just fall under its own weight let's take, take a look at it is it I think today break break higher is it Nick okay let's look at now uh, Five two five nine. Yeah, it did break higher today. Right. So you look back here uh, on on the IVSA here. Right. Uh, you got very low volume here. There's not much strength. You just have one line change in here. Not one of the best. Okay, not one of the best. The pattern doesn't support uh, this line change. Line change here. Right. Although you have some some tests in in here but it's sort of very thin very very thin body here okay so i suppose that's it people right uh that's the time all we have right and uh, next week we'll come back for more all right have a good weekend all right everybody bye bye